You know, while I was uh, promoting a uh, Christmas open house on social media, someone commented, like, no, I'm not coming. Halloween just ended. Okay. But you know what comes after Halloween? Christmas. And I was thinking, because the weather has been so fantastic, what a great weekend to put up your Christmas lights. Now, the most important thing is if you put up your Christmas lights this weekend, don't turn them on. You're just putting them up because it's so beautiful. So this could be the year of the tremendous Christmas display because, you know, what else we got to do, right? All right, so staying safe obviously is paramount and very the most important thing. So the electrical cords, when your outlet's on the outside, these are all connected. It's, it's called a, a GFI or GFCI. So it's a ground fault circuit. So just think of it as it detects leaking electricity and that leaking electricity could leak to you. So what it does, if it detects that leaking electricity, it shuts it off. So you'll see something like, that. well, it, the, it has a little test button, so you always know. But just because it doesn't have the test button doesn't mean it's not a protected circuit because sometimes in your breaker box, you'll see one of the breakers that has a little test. Well, that's a GFI breaker that everything that's connected to that is protected and also, you might have one of these in the garage, but out here on the front porch, it's connected. So there's, there's ways to, uh, to have what's looking like a regular outlet that isn't really protected. Now, I had a little tester right here. So you can actually get a tester, and this, this has a, a, a GFI uh, test button on it, so you can actually find out if it really is, a prote if, you, if you don't know. Because you wanna make sure anything you do outside has one of those protections on it. And that's why when you run out of power outside and you start running cords through the window, that's when you get in trouble because generally something that's coming from the living room isn't gonna be a protected circuit. So if you get into a situation like that, you can certainly buy a portable one, all right? So let's get to the fun stuff, the lights, mini lights. So you can put about three sets together and that's what but people don't understand, that doesn't mean it can be three on the circuit. You can actually put about 3,800 of these on a 20 amp circuit. It's just that in a continuous circle, you can only put three unless they're the heavy duty, you can put six sets on six, so that'd be 600 lights. Other than that, you can run one cord out to a tree and just keep running extension cords off of that to your 300. Now, you might think you wanna be the very best. I would get, you know, outside, I think I'd be using LED because LED, even though it's a little more expensive, you can put, I mean, I don't know, you, you, you wouldn't have enough money probably to fill a circuit. So think about LED, there's, there's, you get a lot of uh, different choices as far as the controllers, if you wanna make them flash, get a little crazy. But one thing I would point out, and maybe you can see this on here, there's warm white and there's cool white. So the warm white is gonna mimic the incandescence of what we're normally used to in a Christmas light where the cool white is more that, that cool, bright, hot white light. And you can use either one, it's just, I don't know if I'd mix them. I'd get one or the other. But this is gonna be a great weekend, so the key is staying safe, follow the instructions, because these are the ones right here, you can only use about 480 of them on a circuit. So if you're using those, be, you may need some extra power, but a beautiful weekend to get out there and decorate for Christmas, I know.